Hey world, Cinna here. So as you can tell, it's been a while since I've made a video. My life has been cray, but I graduated from high school. Yay! It's so fancy. Ah! Also, Synergy went to New York and it was amazing. I took all the exams and I did all the things. Next year, I'm going to be uh, writing literature and publishing major. And so I thought I'd share with you guys some of my favorite books. <laughs> So starting with some books that I liked when I was younger, um, middle school, that general aid. Ink Heart by Cornelia Funk. This book is fabulous. There are a couple sequels to it that I didn't like as much, but this was enough to keep me going for a while. It's about a man who reads books and brings them to life, which is fantastic and what I always wished that I was able to do. Heir Apparent, I found this book in, I believe, 6th grade by Vivian Vondeveld, and she is an incredible writer. Uh, her stories are just, they move so fast, it's just really like non-stop action, and they're addicting, and I still read it sometimes. I can't help myself. So one of my all-time favorite series, Dragonlance books, Margaret Weiss, Tracy Hickman, um, fantasy literature originally based off a video game, you know what, I don't care. It's fabulous. The characters are fantastically... Actually, that's a lie. Okay, there's just one character. It's the only reason I read it, but that's okay. It's fine. Sometimes blatantly sexist, but you know what, I think that kind of comes with fantasy literature. There are good things and bad things. It's cool. So, one of my favorite series of all time is the Wind on Fire trilogy. There are three! What do I say about you? When I first read them, I didn't realize the political commentary in them. I just enjoyed it for uh, one of the main characters who I fantasized that I could be like, Castrol Half, but ultimately it is, there's so much societal commentary in this that escaped me when I was younger. It's really genius, so read it, read them. Okay, so now we get to some of my high school favorites, starting with Catcher in the Rye. Now I will try not to bore you with just all classic literature that they make you read uh, in school, but Catcher in the Rye is just one of the best voiced books of all time ever. If you want narrative voice, look no further than J.D. Salinger. Go to Vlogbrothers, get their t-shirt about Holden Caulfield. It's funny, it will attract mates of similar nerdness. Um, do it. One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest by Ken Kesey. So I have to like this book because I am from Eugene, which is where Ken Kesey lived and his books take place in Oregon. So you pretty much can't live here without liking Kesey's books. Beyond that, it's still really good. It's a little confusing at first when you start trying to read it and then you remember that it's about people who are insane. And once you kind of accept that, and look through that lens, uh, you start to figure out what's going on and everything makes sense again. So this one's a little bit of a departure for me, um, Becoming Madame Mao by Anne Chi Min. I tend to not like historical fiction. History as a subject, I don't like very much. I have a hard time connecting with it, and historical fiction, although the whole point is trying to connect you with history, I still generally have a really hard time with it. But this book is different. It's raw and it doesn't romanticize anything. It's about the wife of Mao in China and it's very gritty and real and it was very believable to me. So historical fiction that you won't get bored, uh, try this one. Chronicle of a Death Foretold by Gabriel Garcia Marquez. So I was forced to read this book in school in IHS junior year so if you are in any national high school or IB you will read this eventually. Um, and you'll probably hate it while you read it because it that requires you to understand what's going on. But if you go into it not actually having to understand what's going on, it's fabulous literature. He plays with time a lot. I mean, a lot, a lot. You watch Doctor Who, you think you know about how time is wibbly wobbly, timey wimey. No, no, this is wibbly wobbly, timey wimey. It's a murder mystery, so you'll be really, really confused, but it's worth it. Bad Monkeys by Matt Ruff. This is science, more of a science fiction novel than anything else I've probably showed you so far. He's been compared to Jonathan Le Carre, except for a lot more fast moving, and there are tons of plot twists. It's really exciting, really smart characters. 
which is always a turn on for me. I would really recommend it if you need a book that you are going to keep coming back to. Catch-22 by Joseph Heller. Heller is very similar in his kind of dark humor to Vonnegut, and who I also love. And this novel is sort of a, just like a piece of sass in itself because Heller decided that you don't actually need a plot to write a book and instead just saw how many characters he could throw in before people would stop reading. Which makes it sound horrible, but it's sort of, it's a good experience to have. There is some cohesion, don't worry. It's hilarious. It's really funny. So read it and laugh and cry and all the things. And finally, my beloved, Kurt Vonnegut. So his most famous novel is Slaughterhouse-Five, which is also my favorite, but my dad stole my copy. So, other favorite, one of the newer, less popular Vonnegut novels is Mother Night, which does what Vonnegut does, which is take your morals and your ethics and your historical events and you turn them all upside down and then you laugh at them and then you cry. This one really deals with ethics and um, whether someone's bad or good just based on what they've done or who they are. As usual, it's hilarious. Cannot even express my love for Vonnegut. All I need. So I hope you guys liked this book tour and feel free to recommend books for me to read because it is summer and now I actually have time in my life to do things I want, like read, not just collapse into a pile of potatoes. Let me know if you have books that I should read and let me know if you read the books and you like them or you don't and you think I was wrong. I like hearing that too. Um, so I will see you guys soon. Bye.